hey everyone so welcome to the part 2 of our unity ads tutorial series so in the last video we integrated iron source sdk and in today's video we are going to make a new app and app unit ids and we are going to set up a few things in the dashboard so let's get started so first thing you have to do is go into files go into build settings and in the player settings uh, we need to find services and now as you can see I have to select an organization if you don't have this organization just uh, go to unity.com type in unity let's go over there and I might already be logged in okay as you can see just click over here and as you can see organizations uh, you can click over there and from over here you can add a new organization now organization is important you have to make it um, so I'll just cut this so now I'll just select my this organization and I will create a project ID now you can okay wait let's just create a project ID from over here uh, it also has another option which is use existing project ID um, but I think I'll just create a new one uh, it might take some time now as it is done project was linked successfully okay great and now there is an option to unlink our project uh, now we can go to dashboard directly but let's first select this uh, will this app be primarily targeted to children uh, I'll say no and let's save this now that's done let's go to our dashboard now you need to be logged in for the dashboard okay it logged me and it also created this new app over here as you can see unity as tutorial now this name I think they took it from what my project name is saved as so no issues we can just go ahead and I think we can change it now nah, it's just the uh, icon okay Oh, okay project name you can change your project name from over here if you want you can change the icon and now the project ID is over here okay um, now the next thing we want to do is we need to go to the dashboard so I think I'll just go from over here let's cut that let's minimize this I'll just type in unity dashboard And let's go over here unity dashboard this is where we want to be right now um, so once you are done with that I think you can just close this page and over here um, we have selected our app which is this one and then let's go into the monetization um, let's just click on get started now we do plan to use mediation uh, we are going to use unity level play as our mediation so let's click on that and here as you can see unity level play so i'll just click on next uh no i want to find do you want to use add settings from existing pro project um no i want to start fresh and is the app listed on the play store or the app store now currently our app is not uh, if you are is then just paste the URL whichever is applicable over here now I didn't I don't publish on Google Play Store okay now I think this checkbox is for those who have just uploaded their project on this app stores but haven't uh, published it yet for public to see so I guess you have to check that um, okay never mind we, are, we haven't so we'll just click on that um now they are saying don't forget to enter the store id this maximizes your revenue opportunities which is good and i would also recommend to have at least one store id with you um so my app is not live so let's just click on add project now this page which is in front of you either take a picture of it take a screenshot of it um because it is like 
very convenient like don't lose this page now uh, let's keep it this way uh, but just to be sure I'll just take a picture of it in my phone so I just took it now let's keep it like this and do not cut it I mean you can still get this all this information but yeah let's keep it like this now let's go to iron source okay so we have successfully logged in in our iron source uh, website now if this is your first time uh, you will be greeted with a, a new app page but as I haven't as I already have an app I can just click on this new app option over here now you will be greeted with this page if this is your first time now is our application live which is not so I'll just click app not live so you can just give a temporary name to it and I think it is best to like just give same name as your the project so unity as tutorial i just give it the same name and our target platform is android so select android and now set up configuration okay i'll i like to keep a new configuration now is again coppa which is is this app directed towards children so this generally audience app is not directed to children. Um, I'll just select the first one. You can select whichever is appropriate for you. Um, now, as I am not inside this US, US state privacy laws, I will keep it on. Do not restrict the user data. But if you, uh, if this law applies to you, then please do click on this one. Now, what I will do is I will add app now again this app key is very important but we can get it easily now over here all we have to do is turn on the rewarded ad interstitial ads and banner ads now you can live them or make them offline later in the process but if you want you can just uh, turn whichever you want right now i'll just keep all the three now this offer wall this requires you to be approved and i think it's been a year now but i still haven't got approved yet so i don't know what specifications are to be approved but yeah this is another kind of uh, ad that you can have with the iron source sdk so let's just click on continue and now this is our app we can i think we can just uh, as you can see we have our app key over here uh, if we go into SDK networks, let's select our app, and as you can see, the iron source over here, uh, we have all the three uh, blue dots over here. Or you can say the icons are in blue, which means it is active right now. Um, and also, if you don't see the Unity ads over here, you can just click on manage networks, click on Unity and add it now after adding it what you want to do is you want to set it up now we have two one is bidding and one is non bidding so let's set up the non bidding one first now where do you get this all the information so as i said don't cut this one this page so our core id is over here and our game id are mentioned over here so first thing we need is game id for android so game id android i'll just click on this button to copy it and let's paste it over here and now we need the placement id for rewarded ads now api key is something that is very confidential and we, if you want it you just have to click on this button and api key, key will be there for you so finish project setup let's click on that let's dismiss this um, now let's go inside the placement and here are your all the placement ids now to get it more like um, organized you can just select one at a time so rewarded interstitial and banner so the first thing we are doing is rewarded so select the rewarded ad and now select whichever is applicable to you if you are doing it on the ios select that one i'll just select the android one let's copy that 
let's paste it next is interstitial let's select the interstitial copy paste now let's do it for the banner um, banner android let's copy that let's paste it control v and now the next thing is as you can see every one of this has this mediation group in it so the mediation group is the all the countries where you want to apply if you want it to be country specific then just uncheck it and just uh, have whichever country you want now rate options now what is this now rate is used only to prioritize the instance in your waterfall this value is not sent back to network now i think what this means is this add will be prioritized more like it will get loaded faster or something like that so you can increase or decrease this rate um must be because yeah. well, never mind can i just cut this okay i don't want anything so i'll just keep it like this and add network instance okay uh, this much is fine so let's just save this now our iron source uh, work is done so i think i'll keep this bidding like this uh, but there is also one thing for running the test ads uh, we have to go inside the edit network click on this one and let's go into the test mode again um, so test mode let's turn this on as well let's click on banner okay so unity ad tutorial all the ads are in the test mode and um, okay um, so now that we are done with this our dashboard is set it up perfectly um, now we can go ahead and do some programming in the next video hey <laughs> um, yeah programming is going to be a little bit uh, lengthy if something i missed i'll just uh, show that in the next video but i think that's all the thing you needed to set up your app inside uh, the dashboard in the next video we'll do some programming the programming in both uh, c sharp and visual scripting so stay tuned for that hope you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something new or it helped you in your project uh, and as always i'll see you in the next video bye bye